One day, my master did something so horrifying to me that I couldn't believe it. Mommy! Mommy! She put me in the fighting corral with the bloody stallion. We had two gateways to go in and out. We could use both to go in and out at the same time. He was so bloody I couldn't even scream. Even all the horns had me want to burst out, but I couldn't. I didn't. I didn't want myself to be hurt. P please. I, I don't know what y you want, but I, I, I just want to go back to my mom. My mother didn't even know she, her own child was in danger. She was asleep. Even my cry, she couldn't hear me. You pathetic little brat. If you stay near your mother forever, your kindness will take over. And you will become something you shouldn't be not. Now shut up. I'm thinking of a way of teaching you how to be stronger. Please, I, I'm just a little filly. I want to go home. You are home. You've always been home. It's glad your mother still sleep or she would kill me. But now that my master teached me something, now it's your turn to be taught. I, I let him beat my... <clears throat> Had enough yet? I did have enough. But I was too terrified to say anything. <laughs> well? Had enough. You're too boring and you're weak. Speedy, come. Our master's calling. If you if the master speaks to you, you answer. Got it? What an ungrateful brat. She's not even speaking. I just laid there. Afraid he would come back and beat me more. Even my own mother didn't hear my cries. I became angry with her. Get in there. Get. Get. Jeez. Tomorrow I'll put you with Big Red. And maybe he'll put a little sense in you, little, little filly. I wanted to scream at my mother, yell at her, but she was so asleep. How could a mare like her stand through my cries? I didn't want to scream. I wanted to kill her. But I was young and I didn't know what killing me meant. So I just laid in agony of the pain. When finally I heard her voice. Uh, 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 uh. Wow, I finally got a good nap. Shadow. Shadow, oh my gosh, what happened to you? Shadow? Oh my gosh. Shadow. Shadow? I just played dead. Shadow? Even though I was young, I understood what my mother was doing. Shadow. Oh, Shadow. This was not the first she'd done this to me. Oh, Shadow. <laughs> it was fake tears. 
She didn't care for me at all. She cared about only herself. Oh, Shadow. <laughs> Shadow. I see our monster taught you the lesson. Of course. That idiot human. I did what she asked and she still did this to me. I would rip her own throat out if I could. But I need to follow her orders. Of course. She is our master. We should follow everything we do for her. Huh. I'd rather be him than be my master. Shadow. Quit your darn whining. Gosh. It's just a bull. It's nothing. It's just a baby horse. Yeah. Knock it off, you two. I don't want to hear your little blabbling about a bull. It wasn't my fault. She's the one that started it. I said shut up. Sorry, genius. Grumpy. He said shut up. Follow his rules. You know what happened last time. Yeah, yeah. Good night, genius. Jeez, everyone's grumpy. Shut up. Sorry. <laughs> Shadow. Shadow. Please talk to mommy. Please talk to mommy. Please talk to mommy. I love you. I let her cry. I didn't know what sadness or grief meant to a fool. But since my beating, my first beating from that stallion, I became dark. Even with my eyes open, I didn't even blink. Without my mother looking, I did blink a few times, but when she looked, I just stopped. Not even one movement, not even a swish of my tail, or the breath from my nostrils, scented her if I was still alive. Could she even hear my own heartbeat? Or did she care only about breeding with our stallions? I didn't know until, until my next beating from the stallion.